Oh my goodness, they married Pokemon in the old days? Tell me why Mr. Mime looks like that. Go ahead. Don't even get me started on Ash's mom's Mr. Mime. You want to say humans aren't Pokemon, eh? Then tell me why two Pokedex entries say humans turn into ghost Pokemon. Well, well, I didn't think so. And therefore, I have concluded with some degree of certainty that humans and primates share a relatively recent common ancestor. A humape, if you will. Actually, on second thought, I won't. What do you mean game theorists did this a decade ago? I forget them. I got some fresh ideas. Hey there, it's your boy Kraken, and today I'd like for you to indulge me as I hop up onto my soapbox to rant about how humans are canonically Pokemon. If you're enjoying my content at all, or just want to help a small creator in a big way, please consider giving a like to this video. Every single one means a lot to me. Thank you. Remember, be sure to have that grain of salt ready. Now let's dive into our story. Firstly, the evidence that is most brought up, and that seemed to lead to the game theorist's conclusions, was an obscure reference in the Pokemon games Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. This reference appears in the Cantilave Library, contained in one of the books at the back of the library. Turns out, in a literal translation of the Japanese version, there were once Pokemon that married people. There were once people who married Pokemon. This was a normal thing, because long ago, people and Pokemon were the same. Of course, this is pretty weird even when given context and the benefit of the doubt, so English localizations changed the text to this instead. There once were Pokemon that became very close to humans. There once were humans and Pokemon that ate together at the same table. It was a time when there existed no differences to distinguish between the two. So you can see why some people aren't taking this clue too seriously. After all, the translation seems to clear up the idea that it was simply a closeness of humans and Pokemon rather than that they were one and the same. Though the literal Japanese translation is pretty compelling. You gotta wonder what they were thinking writing that as canon Pokemon lore. So now that we've got that covered, let's move on to some theories of my own that I have yet to see discussed. Let's start with Deoxys. Those familiar with the franchise may know well that Deoxys is based on DNA, which really stands for Deoxyribonucleic Acid. Pretty neat idea for a Pokemon, but it raises some questions for the idea of humans and Pokemons coming from the same evolutionary line, because Deoxys, well, Deoxys comes from space. Deoxys is not the only wrinkle in our evolutionary hypothesis. We'll get back to Deoxys, but let's cover briefly Pokemon like Arceus, Mew, and the Ultra Beasts, who all play a pivotal part in understanding the origin of life in the Pokemon world. Arceus is supposed to be the creator of the world, and the first Pokemon. Arceus was born from an egg, which answers the question of which came first, the chicken or the egg. Uh, side game theory, research whether or not Arceus is actually a chicken. <laughs> legendary mythical Pokemon like Dialga, Palkia, and so on were created, who in turn created their own realms and legendary aspects, and so on down the line until regular Pokemon evolved into what they are today. But wait, wasn't Mew the first Pokemon? Well, to be fair, Mew may have been called that since it was considered the common ancestor of all Pokemon, and according to lore, Mew were once the dominant life form covering the planet, so that could just be a turn of phrase. So, we can construct a simple lineage here. A tree of Pokemon life, if you will. Stemming from Arceus, to the legendary Pokemon, to Mew, and so forth, branching out until we arrive at the modern Pokemon we all know and love today. This also helps account for Deoxys, which could have easily been created by another legendary Pokemon out there in the cosmos. It can be presumed that alien Pokemon exist on other worlds, with Pokemon like uh, Clefairy and Clefable, LGM and Behem, Ultra Beast, and more directly referencing plentiful extraterrestrial life outside of the singular Deoxys which crash lands in the Pokemon world. So at this point you may be thinking, how does any of this prove that humans are Pokemon? A fair question, because the tree of life we have constructed does not yet have a place for humans. So let's go ahead and fix that. Deoxys, being the DNA Pokemon, as well as uh, some information from the Mewtwo arc thrown in, proves the existence of DNA as at least partially responsible for the evolution of Pokemon over time, just as it most certainly plays a part in real human evolution, and presumably, the evolution of humans in the Pokemon world too. I'd say that's already a pretty strong link, since we know that if Arceus and his mythical aspects created the universe and this Pokemon, then they created, or at least gave rise to, DNA-based evolution. It is possible that these mythical Pokemon created humans separately, um, you know, their own DNA, you could say. But we should take some time to consider all of the Pokemon, which so, so very closely resemble humans, that uh, it's almost uncanny. Please, look at Mr. Mime. Look at it. And tell me that's not like at least 95% human. 
It's so human-like that, uh, that at this point, I'm sure everyone's heard the joke about Ash's mom and the Mr. Mind that hangs out with her, right? <laughs> I mean, Ash's dad ain't around no more. People did used to marry Pokemon, so I mean, come on now. All jokes aside, though, Pokemon like this crop up everywhere. Ignoring some other obvious ones, I'd just like to name off a few. The Machamp line. The Hitmon whatever lines. Sock. Throw. Pretty much anything that wears human clothing, like, all the time. Humans, in reality, evolved from apes. Apes definitely exist in the Pokemon world, but thus far exclusively in the form of Pokemon like Primeape. Now, we have our perfect spot on the Tree of Life, linking humans and Pokemon. So, if humans are Pokemon, then why can't they learn four different moves like a Pokemon can? As OG Pokemon game developer Junichi Masuda puts it in the Game Informer interview from over a decade ago? They have a simple answer to that. They do. Not even going in-depth on simple moves like Leer or Surf or Dig or Sing, all real activities which humans can and do indeed perform just fine all the time. We can even see some powerful humans whipping out moves like Psychic and Aura Sphere in all forms of media across the franchise. Not only that, but have you ever noticed that if a Pokemon needs to learn a move, you always take it to a human? I'm not even talking about the machines like TMs and HMs, which are made by humans. I'm talking about move tutors, certain special trainers, stuff like that. I know the move tutor can't use the moves necessarily, but this hints to me that humans aren't as removed from their common Pokemon ancestors as Masuda makes out. Speaking of Masuda, everyone always points out that in that same interview with Game Informer, he says Pokemon aren't used as laborers. But, I mean, right, we've all seen the electric-type Pokemon powering giant electrical plants, fighting-type Pokemon working construction, flying-type delivering post, you know, so on, so on. So what's up with that, Masuda? Score 1 for humans of Pokemon, 0 for Junichi Masuda and Nintendo. Check and mate, Game Freak. All jokes aside, we love you, Masuda. You're great. It's easy to make theories and connections like this all day long. I didn't even talk about some of the more circumstantial evidence I've ruminated upon when my mind goes to the question of whether or not humans are Pokemon, like uh, humans undergoing evolution to a stronger form, or humans that can actually fuse with other Pokemon, I'm looking at you Ash Greninja, or the times that people ended up in places like Pokemon should be, such as in a PC Pokemon storage box or a Pokeball. I also neglected to say that I could just as easily reason that humans are not Pokemon and that someone or something simply created the humans separately from Pokemon. After all, even when evolution takes a different turn, such as in Ultra Space, there are still humans. Though, the humans of Ultra Space do be looking evolved a bit differently too. Like, uh, those guys are really blue. da ba dee da ba die or something like that. Well, that's all I have to say on the matter, for now. I think there's enough evidence in the Pokemon canon to say that at least some people at Game Freak thought humans of Pokemon shared a common evolutionary ancestor. But hey, that's just a hypothetical. An electronics digital consumer goods hypothetical. Anyways, I'll leave it at that. I've got another video linked for you here on the end screen now. If you enjoyed my soapbox rant, you may enjoy this video I made about getting back into Mario 64 speedrunning. With that said, hope this was all worth a listen. If so, please consider subscribing to my channel. Every single bit helps me out immensely. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.